Okay, NDA of course is our focus now. The Modi versus Nitish battle. Will Hindutva politics break up the NDA? Will the presidential polls break up the NDA? Joining us now, Subramaniam Swami, senior Janta Party leader, now a member of the NDA joins us. Bupendra Chaube, National Bureau Chief is with us. Devesh Chandra Thakur of the Janta Dal United joins us from Patna. Sopan Das Gupta, senior journalist and columnist, joins us from the national capital. Devesh Chandra Thakur, I want to get a clear answer from you at the top. Is the Janta Dal United trying to dictate terms to the BJP when it says today that if Narendra Modi is made your prime ministerial candidate, we will walk out of the alliance? Are you trying to dictate terms to the BJP? Not at all, Rajdeep. The situation is not like that at all. It was just a small interview given to Economic Times, questions answered uh, by Honorable uh, Nitesh Kumar. And nothing new being said in that interview. Today, no, no, hold on. Time and again no, no, one said, minute, one minute. Sorry to interrupt. Today, Shivanand Tiwari was asked a specific question. If Modi is made the prime ministerial candidate of the BJP, what happens to the Janta Dal United? He says we will leave the alliance. Is that your position? So where is the question? Where is the question of dictating in this? We are putting forward our views. We are entitled to that. We have a right to that. We are going to stick to our commitment to secularism, and that's all. So with 20 where, is, where is the question of dictation in this? What else is it? With 20 MPs, the party which has more than 100 MPs, you are uh, telling are them not, who is going to be their leader? Are we not? And no, we did not tell them. We are, we are telling them whom we don't want. It is for them to decide. Oh, I and see. that limits down the number. We, we are telling them whom we can't accept. That's and, all. And that's not it's dictation. A, we have already said we and are not in the race. We have said no. And we have said we will support the major, the major partner in the NDA. Okay. We have gone to that extent. We have just said we can't, we can't accept anyone. Okay, so you, you know, we want to stick to our commitment so, to secularism. So for you, the question for, of dictation so for in you Narendra party. Modi is communal? For you, Narendra Modi is communal because of what happened in 2000. We have not, we have not taken. Why, why, why is it so, Razi? The moment we say we don't want anyone communal, why does the name narrow down to Narendra Modi? <laughs> okay, okay. So you are. So why does it happen so? Okay, that's an interesting point. Who is raising the name Narendra Modi? You claim you are not raising it, but Shivanand Tiwari. We didn't. Okay, but we didn't. I the see. whole country comes down. Are you talking about Narendra Modi? Why is it happening like that? Okay, <laughs> Subramaniam Swami. Will the NDA accept a situation where the Janata Dal United has a veto power over their prime over your prime ministerial candidate over your presidential candidate? Virtually, he's uh, Devesh Chandra Thakur said, "I'm not dictating to the BJP." But what is this? This is dictation to say that I will not accept Narendra Modi as the prime ministerial candidate of the NDA. Well, frankly, uh, there are two most important leaders of JDU. One is Nitish and the other is Sharad Yadav. Neither of them has taken Modi's name. And today we have the Devishes clarification also. No, so who is this leader who is supposed to have rough edges, who is supposed to be a leader who is not secular, is not accommodating enough? Please tell me who is this mysterious leader if it is not Narendra Modi? What kind of shadow boxing is going on? Well, shadow boxing is a, is a part of politics. I don't think we are... Uh, normally in politics, we don't take any, any statement very seriously unless names are mentioned. Here, there is no name mentioned. So, and the criteria is not to... Uh, you know, the criteria is... I would say Modi fits the criteria. Modi fits the criteria. Yes, so, as far as you are concerned, Narendra Modi can be a prime ministerial candidate but, uh, and the Janta Dal United cannot exercise veto power uh, over a prime minister candidate. Uh, Am I uh, correct? NDA has got at least 10... Uh, persons who can be called capable for to be prime minister and Modi is among them. Of course, he is among them. And, yeah. and no party like the Janata Dal United can extend can have veto power over the name. It will be no, a collective no, decision, a, not, not an individual no, decision. No, no, no. If they express an opinion, they have a right. They are an important part. They can have a stand. This is not a rigid uh, alliance. It's a it's a it's a very flexible alliance. Last presidential election, we had uh, Bal Thakre support uh, Patel, uh, Pratibha Patel. But still, they didn't break. Today, okay. also the same thing. Okay, what do you say? Flexible alliance will be called by some a marriage of convenience. But Swapan Das Gupta, <laughs> interestingly, the RSS has also entered the fray today by suggesting that the next prime minister should be someone who imbibes the Hindutva philosophy. Does this not further complicate the matters for the NDA? Or is this the RSS drawing a Lakshman Rekha saying they will not accept a Nitish Kumar defining what constitutes secularism and who should be the NDA's prime ministerial candidate? Look, Rajdeep, you know, in India, we, we don't have a system of primaries. Yes. But if we had, I think it, it would resemble something like the type what we are seeing at present. There is 
a definite feeling in the country that the NDA or at least a non-Congress coalition is likely to assume power in 2014. Hence, the question of who the prime ministerial candidate becomes paramount. The there, there's also a parallel question to this, is should the NDA go into battle having announced its prime ministerial candidate to begin with and give it also for the par uh, corresponding endorsement of the people. These are various questions. Under the circumstances, I think Nitish Kumar is quite right. He made a certain intervention in an ongoing debate which was triggered by the events of the Mumbai National Executive of the BJP, where it was quite clear that Narendra Modi is going to play an increasingly important role in the national affairs of the BJP. And assuming he wins Gujarat in December, the likelihood of him becoming the prime ministerial candidate is that much more but, likely. But will it now, divide the... Will, will, divide Kumar has the always, will it end up breaking up the NDA? Look, we do not know because like an astute politician, Nitish Kumar has left an exit route also open, which is that he has not named anybody. Nit uh, the Janata Dal United will see Modi as a liability if it can be demonstrated prior to the election that Modi is a vote loser. Right. However, if it can be demonstrated that Modi actually has an incremental vote to the existing votes of the political parties, then I think no politician yes. will basically say, they might express their misgivings, etc. Right. But to do something precipitate as walking out of an alliance, I think we are still, it's in a very, very premature state. But I'm, I'm going as far as Mohan Bhagwat is concerned, yes. is Mo Mohan Bhagwat is concerned, he has intervened as the RSS. Okay. which is not directly involved in, in politics. He has given his own ideological you know that, perspective to the whole thing. But, 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 and I but, think but that's really a that. secu secular communal debate, which <laughs> is really very little to do with all this. No, no, there is, though, you, you say it has very little to do with all this, but the fact is the RSS, whether one likes it or not, is eventually going to play a critical role in who becomes the NDS prime ministerial candidate. Bhupendra Chobe is the RSS determined to anoint Narendra Modi as the NDS PM candidate even if it means running running the risk of losing an ally like the Janata Dal United, are they setting a Lakshman Rekha that you cannot dictate to us what is secular and what is communal? Let me say this very, very clearly. The RSS, if given a choice, is not going to anoint Narendra Modi as a prime ministerial <laughs> candidate, first and foremost. Secondly, this debate that is taking place, Rajdeep, that whether Nitish Kumar has taken the name of Narendra Modi or not, I find this really amusing. You are talking about the same individual who you forget last year refused to break bread with the entire BJP rank in file when a national executive beat was taking place in Bihar. Why? Because Narendra Modi was a part of the guest list. Because Narendra Modi had put out his ads in all Bihar yes. papers. So I find this very amusing that this debate is taking place. Mohan Bhagwat has intervened today simply because LK Advani at the moment is very keen. He is the one who has taken this decision that this presidential battle must be contested. After Nitish Kumar started taking on Narendra Modi, the BJP was looking for some kind of help from the RSS with some help from Dr. Sobhanam Swami also, who has intervened, who has pulled his own strings with the RSS. That's the main reason why the RSS chief was intervened. No, no, but, but let's focus for a moment on Nitish Kumar. Devesh Chandra Thakur, Ram Vilas Paswan said something interesting today. In 2002, when the Gujarat riots happened, Nitish Kumar was in the NDA government. He didn't walk out that time like Ram Vilas Paswan did. Now, 10 years later, suddenly, Nitish Kumar is raking up this communal secular divide again. Again, he seems to find that Modi didn't follow his Raj Dharm and the failure to remove Modi cost the 2004 election. This is wisdom in hindsight. Why didn't he say all this in 2002? Well, in 2002, there was no possibility of anyone, someone like Narendra Modi, the probability of Mr. Narendra Modi trying to become a Prime Minister. That was a different issue altogether, Rajdeep. We are now talking about someone like Narendra Modi yes. taking over the reins of the country and the taking over the reins of the Prime Ministership. So you have, no, you have no problem with Narendra Modi as an ally, but you have a problem with Narendra Modi as a Prime Minister. You have no problem being in a cabinet with, with RSS Narendra Modi. We are allies in Bihar, with BJP. But you have a problem with Narendra Rajdeep, Modi and Rajdeep, the RSS and Hindutva politics. Rajdeep, we are, we, are, we are not in alliance with Narendra Modi. We are in alliance with BJP and that alliance is limited to Bihar. 
But we have contested elections. Many we of have your, an MLA in the Many Gujarat of your assembly. ministers are RSS, uh, are, uh, are also RSS members. You have no problem with that. Yeah, but that but you don't they, raise but they, are not inter, they have not interfered with us. They have not interfered with us as far as our following of the secular agenda is concerned. How has Narendra Modi interfered with you? No, he, they ha he hasn't. He hasn't, not at all, he hasn't. We are talking about the likelihood of someone taking over the reins of the Prime Ministership of the country. Okay. And that becomes a different story altogether. Okay, the, the Subramaniam Swami respond to that. That somewhere, if you remember in the 1970s, the Janta Party also broke over the dual membership issue of Jansang and, 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 and the RSS. Are we now reaching a stage of this Hindutva divide breaking up the NDA? That some parties, the pro-Hindutva parties will stay with the NDA, parties like uh, JDU may leave you. Is that a risk you run? No, I don't think so. I don't see any possibility of that. In fact, you see, if the JDU were to leave the NDA just for supposition, they will have a big problem because they, they in the country today with the uh, fact that the Supreme Court today has come out so harshly against the Congress for bringing a reservation in the name of religion and uh, refused to give them a stay, which would have been uh, no, in the normal course they should have got it plus this communal and targeted violence bill. There is a concern that perhaps the Congress is also getting very communal. That is creating this Hindu sentiment in the country as a reaction. JDU, I don't think so because... Do you believe there is a Hindu sentiment, pro Hindu sentiment in the country at Absolute, the moment? At you the believe there is a pro Hindu sentiment? Uh, there is a Hindu wave in the country which people don't realize. They don't want or is it an anti-Congress wave? Let's it, get it clear. Is it, anti-Congress it is, the glue that will bind the NDA? It is the Congress which has created this wave by this consistent uh, 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 favoring of a particular religious group and creating problems and uh, this Batla house, everything is added okay. up. So you actually believe Hindutva politics will unite people rather than divide That's people. But, right. but That's Swapan Das Gupta, we saw a few years ago Naveen Patnaik leave the NDA again using the secular communal divide. Is it a risk that the NDA runs now with Nitish Kumar again that while you while you may say that the divide is, is, is only there for discussions in studios, deep down inside we saw with Naveen Patnaik it was used to break away from the NDA. I will be, on my part, I will be extremely surprised if the NDA goes into battle in 2014 on an explicit Hindutva plank a la 1991. I think today the real mood which binds the country to together is a very fierce anti-Congress mood in which some of the issues raised by Dr. Swami are very much there. But to say that it's an overtly Hindutva mood, that there is a Hindu consciousness which is going to determine the finality of your voting, I think is probably overstating the case a bit. But there is no doubt that it's that anti-Congress feeling embraces a lot of issues. Right. In which the feeling that the majority community may also be shortchanged is one element. But it is not the entire case. So I don't believe that even if Narendra Modi was to become the prime ministerial candidate of the BJP, he will battle it out on the basis of uh, of what we saw in Gujarat 2002. But, on but the other hand, we are but probably is the, going to but see... But you run the risk of, as I said, of a, of, of a Nitish Kumar doing a Naveen Patnaik. How serious is that risk? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think Nitish Kumar will do, if he does a Naveen Patnaik, it will not be because of the danger of Hindutva, but because he feels that the bare presence of Narendra Modi is going to be a deterrent to minority votes. Ah, so now, as I said earlier, so he's playing his you, own vote bank you, politics. You, so he's playing his he own vote bank his politics. Own vote. But, and, and, and understandably so, he's sure. a politician. Sure, okay. Yeah, but on the other hand, if yes. it can be demonstrated that actually Narendra Modi's presence increases your vote tally, right. then I think there will yes. be a greater degree of reconsideration. I, I, think I don't think anything point. No, I, think, I, 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 I think there's a point. Yeah, there, yeah, yes, Mr. So Sir, I Dr. think Sir. there's a much bigger issue than Modi or not Modi. The real issue is, is uh, Hindutva uh, liberally defined going to be a election, uh, election and the, an attractive plank in an election? 
it could lead to aggressive voting for the minorities as we saw in 2004 and, and, and it could lead for parties leaving the nda you need parties to join the nda not leave the nda Dr. Swami. if you take the 1990s i would say that the day the hindus unite you don't have to worry about the consolidation of 17 uh, years for lk advani to get rid of the taint of what had happened in 1992 at the end of the day lk advani was a prime minister candidate from the nda in 2009 godra happened in 2002 you're in 2012 who knows how long the Lakshman Rekha no, has no, to My crossed. point is, is the BJP willing to bite the bullet? The core BJP voter, I think what Swapan Das Gupta is saying, there is also the point that the core BJP voter today may want a Narendra Modi. Why should he be denied that entry, the core BJP voter will ask, simply because Nitish Kumar is putting a veto on it. No, it's is not the BJP Kumar. willing to take that risk with Narendra it's Modi? It's the BJP itself, it's senior leaders within the BJP itself, which are who are not comfortable with the idea of Narendra Modi becoming a prime ministerial <laughs> candidate. Why do you think we saw the events like we saw in Mumbai, where Narendra Modi almost was putting a gun the head of the BJP president that if you do not get rid of one man, I am refusing to come to the BJP national executive. Dr. Swami, will this NDA alliance announce its prime ministerial candidate before the next elections? From what I have uh, come to learn from uh, informal discussion, it looks like they won't. They won't. They won't. Okay, so the BJP will play it safe, but Devesh Chandra Thakur, I want to know from you very clearly, is Nitish Kumar going to stay with the NDA or is he going to prefer to be part of the third front? Honest, straight answer. What does Nitish Kumar want today? NDA or third front? Rajdeep, he has very clearly, very clearly said in the interview that he is going to stay with the NDA, right. that he is going to support the major partner. Okay. That he is himself not in the race for prime ministership, that he will support the major partner. He knows his limitations. He knows that the Janta Dal United is restricted to Bihar. Yes. He has just put forward his views as to who is acceptable and who not as far as the JDU is concerned. Okay. He has just put forward his preferences and said it should be discussed within the NDA. Okay. That's all. Okay. Uh, you, you made your point, but obviously what we have seen is not going to end here. We are going to see possibly more shadow boxing in the months ahead. Certainly with Dr. Swami there in the NDA now, you won't have, uh, uh, you'll have much to report on. You won't have a dull moment. You won't have a dull moment. <laughs> Dr. Swami, Devet Chandra Thakur, <laughs> Swapan Das Gupta, Bhupendra Chaube, appreciate you are joining us here. We're getting some idea now of the Nitish Modi battle that lies ahead.